Hi, I'm Jean Marfin from the School Board, and I'm here to give you a brief summary of the November 22nd Board meeting. First, we had a very short special session so that people who wanted to comment to the Board about the world's best workforce plan could do that. Um, it was very short, and we'll talk more about the world's best workforce in just a minute. Um, secondly, uh, we uh, when we started our regular meeting, we recognized our student athletes from s fall sports. We had dozens of uh, student athletes there as well as coaches, athletic directors, and a whole lot of very proud parents and guardians who uh, congratulated our student athletes on their accomplishments, both on the field and in the classroom. Um, second, we recognized operations director Scott Sheridan, who is retiring. Scott has been with the district for a number of years and among other things has overseen the building of four new schools, uh, safe entries, um, and has always been there uh, when there is student safety involved and when we had any issues with our buildings. We'll miss Scott from our, uh, from our cabinet. Then um, Heather Willman and Peter Dodd from the Curriculum and Instruction Department talked about the professional development plan that's in place for our teaching staff. The focus here is that we have wonderful teachers and they want to continue to get even better. So the uh, focus for the next uh, few years is going to be on academic achievement, new teacher support, literacy, especially teaching the science of reading, uh, science instruction, and um, writing instruction. Uh, we have as I said, a, a robust plan for continually uh, providing workshops, collaborative experiences for our teachers uh, so that they continue along their professional development. Item 7.01, which I can't see without my glasses on, um, oh, was about uh, post-secondary options and the opportunities for students to receive college credit while they're in high school. So in a, we have three different ways that kids can get college credit before they graduate and currently we have hundreds of students who are taking advantage of that, which is saving them and their families hundreds of thousands of dollars of college tuition. Then we had an update on our referendum expenditures, including uh, the new safe entries for all our buildings and the beautiful new pool at Century High School. At this point, it's on track to be open December 6th with a ribbon cutting, and we saw some great pictures of what that looks like. 7.03, gentlemen from Synergistic Energy Savings gave us a report on how we are doing as a district in terms of being really mindful of the money that we're spending on electricity and gas. Over the four years that we've been working with Synergistic, uh, this district has saved over four, uh, almost four million dollars on energy. 8.01, 33 policies were introduced. Our school district is absolutely uh, committed to following the policies that we have and so we got a rundown of, of the update on those. 9.01, <clears throat> we approved a, a new charge statement for the Community Budget Advisory Committee this is going to include people from throughout the community who will be working with the district on a regular basis as we uh, determine the budget issues that we uh, need in order to run our schools effectively. And finally, 9.02, um, we approve the world's best workforce report that will be submitted to the Minnesota Department of Education. It is a statute that every school district needs to support a, a submit a year-end report on the progress of students and as importantly we also approved the strategic plan goals and uh, processes that are, are going to help to guide how we get our kids on track to do the best that they can do academically and behaviorally. That's it for this report. If you have any questions give me a call. Jean Marvin, a school board member, or watch the recording. Thank you and have a great day.